sometimes the world just works in mysterious ways. Um, I have not uploaded on YouTube in about a month, but it was getting kind of hard for me to just like edit my videos because I was just preoccupied with other things. So it's taken me about three weeks to like edit a video and upload it. So yesterday I sat down all day and I edited uh, the video for the month of February and um, it went great. I edited the video just fine. I took a whole day for it. Um, and then last night I uploaded the video onto YouTube so that I can save it on private so that we can upload it today and then set a premiere for it. Turns out I wake up today and my MacBook charger is somehow not working. So we're on our way to Target to go get a MacBook charger. <laughs> Coming outside, I'm trying to vlog with a baby is so hard. Because honestly, getting him in and out the car seat, getting him dressed, bringing him downstairs, it's, he weighs so much and he's so heavy. You guys, I try so hard not to freaking be, not to be a complainer. I try so hard not to be a complainer, but sometimes I, just like too much is going on at the same time time so it's just like damn you know um so i went to target couldn't find the charger um unfortunately like i looked it up online and i would assume that you know target had like apple chargers but this one barely had anything i couldn't find the charger so we're still not gonna have the vlog uploaded which freaking sucks but now that means that i just need to go to apple and i just feel like there's so many things just stacking up together that it's just overwhelming um i need to put oil in my car i need to give it a wash um i need to put water fluid on my wipers i need to get an inspection listen finished with Marshalls and Target. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't really find much. I did find maybe like maybe three things um, and I got myself some skincare stuff. I got a skirt. Um, I came out for a charger and then I also have some light bulbs that are missing in my bathroom and I didn't get those because just Target was just overwhelming today um, and I couldn't really find much at Marshalls um because i just know that like my style is changing and it's maturing but i can't find that middle ground between i'm still young i'm 26 turning 27 um but i'm not a grandmother so i've just been having like i've just been battling with like no like changing my wardrobe and make it fit to me and like what i like so that's just where I'm at. I always come on the camera looking crazy with like no care in the world. And that's not okay. <sighs> However, I just got back home from doing my morning drop off. And I am, I'm just like so freaking upset. I, I don't know what's going on. And I really am trying so hard not to be one of those people who like manifest bad things happening in their lives by repeating um, you know, just bad things happening. But, like, I just feel like the weirdest things just keep on happening to me. Like, the weirdest things. Like, you guys, I didn't even tell you this, but I believe it was, like, last week. Yeah, I think it was, like, last week or two weeks ago. 
I got lemonade thrown at my window while I was driving because someone would not let me cut them off. She threw lemonade on my window, okay? The next day, my tires popped. It looked like somebody had stabbed my tires. I already told you that a couple days prior to that, my fog mirror from my car ended up missing somehow, some way. Yesterday, I'm trying to upload a vlog. I upload it. I told you guys about it. Couldn't upload it. I mean, ended up deleting it. My computer is not working because I have no charger because my charger broke from one day to another. And now today, I take out my camera with me so that I can film because I had to go to Best Buy today go, to go try to get another charger for my laptop. However, I decided to come back home um, because Best Buy doesn't open until 10 o'clock. So I was just like, let me come home, do morning routine, have breakfast, get ready and all of that. And then I could come back out to Best Buy and get the charger. Amazing. However, this morning, we were such in a rush where at the end, I'm trying to look for my car keys. I take my camera out my bag and now the tripod to mount the camera onto my windshield in the car has a missing piece. And I just got this last week. So I'm just like, bro, like, and what is going on lately? Like, I've just been having like, the worst like minor inconveniences happen to me lately. And it's just starting to make me question like, what is going on? Like, I know that what you say out loud is what becomes your reality. But at this point, I'm just like, what, like, what, what is going on? Is there something different that I need to be doing with my life? Yeah. Because it's starting to get weird. Yeah. On a better note, um, you guys, Saint said mama for the first time yesterday. Um, and he's been trying to like say mama for like a while now. However, he's never fully like, like, you know, he's saying mama yesterday. He started to say mama, right? Saint? So I'm so happy about that. And you guys would not believe me, but he knows how to say, okay. And he can stand now. Look at his little braid. Look at his little braid. So he's starting to stand on his own now. Um, he likes to like stand and like kind of like clap his hands. And he's 10 months, so he's definitely progressing so well. Um, he can stand, he knows how to say okay, he knows how to say mama, dada. So I'm just so happy, my baby's so smart. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and make breakfast. Probably update you guys a little later when I'm going to Best Buy. Hey guys, oh my God. I'm so, you know what? I'm not even gonna, it's just bothering me. Oh my God. Hey guys, so I have you guys on my windshield, but for some reason the angle is just not working today. So that's extremely annoying. And not only that, but people just love to stare at you when you're recording. It's like, our camera's a new concept. So we are on our way to Best Buy. Um, I have to go pick up the charger because I just feel like if I don't go right now, I'm probably gonna have to wait another day to be able to use my laptop. So yeah, 
I really did not want to come out, but at least it forces me out to come out the house. Oh, that was crazy. Come on now. Yeah. So maybe now you guys will understand why I have no wheels. <laughs> but we're here. So we're at Best Buy. Let's see if we can find this charger. By the way, I'm like so annoyed because the other day I get a phone call from my bank saying that there was some suspicious activity going on and honestly I just feel like my bank just does that like as a routinely checkup. I've been with this bank for like a really long time and that's something that happens often but like I just feel like it's one of those things where they don't tell the customer what's really going on but they kind of want to update the information yeah, I don't know like I guess somebody used $500 but like it ended up not going through which wasn't me anyways um so they were like okay we're gonna send you a new card they sent me a new card and now my Apple music um was like hello we don't have your payment because i switched my card i tried to put in my card today and i did and my apple music still doesn't want to work so i'm like driving in silence apparently saint doesn't want to work today he doesn't want to work i mean he does <laughs> honestly i've been putting the camera on his lap but now that he's bigger and he realizes what it is he just wants to touch it so I'm definitely gonna have to get something that attaches to my stroller so that I can vlog while I have him on a stroller also I have my cup <laughs> so like I have my hands full um, but we're at Best Buy came to check out the switch games because I recently have been really wanting to start playing with my switch again just to make it like some kind of activity that I do like out of the norm um, but then when I see the prices of these things I'm just like um I don't know about that but like one day one of these days, I'm actually just gonna give in and get myself a new game so that I can have something to experience. But right now, they don't have the game that I want. I think I want um, Mario World 3D, and I don't think they have it right now, so I'm okay. cute is this my switch is actually animal crossing and i don't have a case for it but we're good for right now came to get what i gotta get so how cute are these other little cameras you guys know i have the oldest camera in youtube history um, and I actually love it, but these are cute too. I think the only thing that I don't like about these is the fact that you can't really change the lenses on them. So that's why I love my camera, because I can definitely put on a bigger kit and the quality is still gonna be beautiful. That's why I have not changed my camera because I just feel like it's perfect. But these are cute. It's this little cyber shot for pictures. Super cute. I am a Sony girl, so I know that a lot of people like the G7X, but I'm a diehard Sony girl. I'm looking at these lenses, um, and honestly, Upgrading my camera lens is something that I I have this lens right now, but updating my camera lens is definitely something I would love to do in the future. So I need to do a little bit more research on 
my lenses, but definitely is something that I would love to do. So we're at the charge tables and I think this is what I need. So I think that's what we're gonna have to get. So hopefully that's our easy fix to our issue. Um, I'm really happy about that. Hopefully it's not the cube of the laptop and it's just the cable because that was only $20 when it could have been like $95. So hopefully that fixes our issue. And I don't know why, but I realize that he does not like being in stores. He loves coming outside, but he does not like being indoors. A part of me kind of wants to go to Ikea, but I know if I go to Ikea, it's like I'm not going to get anything at Ikea. I'm just going to be wasting my time. So I kind of want to use the rest of my day to do something else, but I don't know what to do. All right, so we're right near Marshall's right now. So I think I'm going to go to Marshall's even though I really don't want to because I feel like going to Marshall's is like me spending money and I kind of don't want to spend money. But like recently, I feel like my, I don't know, my guides, whoever, are telling me to spend money and it's just like I kind of don't want to but we have some time to waste I don't want to go back home because like why for I'm driving too fast um I don't want to go back home because why for it's a nice day outside so figured I might as well just go to Marshall's phone book update phase. um because we have a little bit of time to spare so um, I guess let's go to Marshall's even if I'm not getting too many like even if I'm not getting anything I'm just gonna walk around how are we feeling about ballet flats because I feel like these are so cute it definitely gives me inspo come for me but I honestly feel like these are a cute little vibe of course, it's not something that everybody would like, but I feel like these are so cute. He might be ready for this soon. Now look at his face. He does not like being out here. You don't like being out here with mommy? You don't like it? Tell me I'm crazy, but what are these giving you? It was just like, this is just nothing but a god thing. Like we were literally laughing. My mom was like, like she what's was wrong with y'all? <laughs> We People just, just don't rolling. get us. They, they don't, don't understand it. They can't wrap their minds around it. We don't expect them to. And I remember too, yesterday morning when I was in the presence, God told me, and it kind of like completely went over my head because I didn't understand what he was talking about. But he told me, I'm going to show you how big I could get. He did his big one. Yeah, he did his big <laughs> one. So I'm very grateful. So now that we're all cut up, we're actually going to be talking about something very serious today, which is deliverance and the evil spirits. So this is a very serious topic and not to be taken lightly. Deliverance for us was not like sitting in a classroom learning all these things. We were actually hands on doing yeah. deliverance, fresh out of deliverance at that. We went straight into doing deliverance. So this is how we know these things because it's things we have saw and experienced and we cast out. Right. So you guys may be wondering, well, what is this deliverance that you guys are talking about? So deliverance is actually very prevalent in the Old Testament as well as the New Testament. In the Old Testament, God delivered the Israelites out of slavery in Egypt. 
And then in the New Testament, you will see that Jesus actually cast out evil spirits that were oppressing the people. Deliverance is actually part of true salvation, which salvation is healing, deliverance, and forgiveness. A lot of people only receive forgiveness when healing and deliverance can be obtained as well. A lot of people... Um, I don't know if I told you guys this, but Saint said mama clearly for the first time yesterday. Um, and he's been trying to say mama now for months. Um, and he has said like ma, but like it, it just hasn't come out like perfectly, perfectly, perfectly. And yesterday I realized that he's saying mama. Um, another thing that he's doing is he's also standing up now. I've caught him standing up on his own a couple times in the past week. Um, yesterday he was kind of like leaning but standing up on his own next to me and he was clapping his hands. Um, standing up by himself. And I also caught him saying okay. Like you guys probably would not believe me but... I caught him saying okay two times um yesterday I I I think I was eating yeah I was eating dinner last night oh my god I'm so pale right now it's the camera that's making me look even paler but um so last night I was eating and he was just like on my leg and I was just like babe can you please let me eat let mommy eat you already ate like he had already had his dinner but he wanted my attention so I was just like let me just have my dinner you guys <laughs> I said let mommy eat her food and he goes okay and he crawls away <laughs> he crawls away yesterday which is so funny I was like am I like imagining things I told his dad about it I was like okay he said okay but you know like I don't know if you know I was just hearing things but this morning when he woke up um, he usually is the one who wakes us up in the morning by just like making like noise jumping on his crib um, and then we caught him again saying okay he was on his crib and he was just like okay and he got up and it's kind of like he kind of like told himself like okay time to get up um so he's saying okay mama dada baba just like different little words so i just feel like he's just reaching all of his milestones just on time and it just makes me so emotional because i just can't believe I'm really about to have a toddler in two months. Like, I can't even believe it. I feel like I just brought, like, I feel like I brought him home just the other day. Um, but it's definitely been, like, such a short year. Um, and it's changed me so much. I can't even fathom to think about having to plan for his first birthday. I know it's two months from now, and I don't think that I'm gonna do, like, a birthday party. Of course, I definitely want to be able to give him birthdays, but only one. He also doesn't have a lot of cousins within his age group. I don't have any friends that have babies within his age group. So not that I have any budget, but personally, I just would like to chill out for the rest of the week because it's necessary. Here is my little Marshalls bag. And I figured I might do a haul in the car, right? Why not? Um, I got this Korean skincare eye intensive treatment. It's an eye serum. I was running out of mine, so I got this one. Um, then I got this Sky Organic Toner. I believe I've seen these at Whole Foods, um, so it was just like a similar brand, so I just picked it up. Um, I ran out of my toner, so that's that. Um, and then I got this AirPod case because my AirPods just don't have a case. I thought this was really cute, like a little tan color, so I got that. 
I got some self tanner. Um, I've used Tanologist before, but I've never used the Express Tan. Um, so I want to see how good this works because I've been itching to tan lately. Um, it's getting warmer and your girl is chalk white, okay? So that's that. And then I got this tank top. Oh, you guys see? Okay. Then I got this tank top. Um, she's actually like, I don't know if you guys can see, but she's very, very good quality. Um, and even though she's a little bit thick, she's a little bit on the thick side. I actually just like love, okay. I actually just love playing with texture, with texture. And sometimes when you throw on, uh, an outfit, all of the same color, like I love a clean look. Um, and you add some texture, I feel like it elevates your outfit a lot more. So I feel like this is perfect. Plus, it's not a crop top. So I love that. It's definitely a high quality tank top that I could probably use for a while. So that was all I got. But yesterday I was at Marshall's yesterday too. So I'm going to queue in the haul that I did yesterday so that you guys know what I got. Apple charger so I'm definitely gonna be on my way home now to go and test the charger out and see if it works because I've been dying to get on my computer and upload my vlog and just upload a couple more things that I've been filming so let's head home still and honestly whenever I have time to spare I'm just like should I go eat something but like, no, we're not doing that because if I eat anything outside, I'm literally going to blow over my calories for the day. So I'm actually going to see how far away we are. Let me see. We're actually pretty far. So I don't know if I should go home. I think I'm going to head home now. Um, yeah, I think we're going to get, yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and just head home um it's annoying that i have no apple music right now because it's like i have a long drive now and i have no apple music which freaking sucks but what can we do right all right i'll talk to you guys Hey guys, so I have not picked up the camera in a while. I've literally just left Target um, from picking up like just a few basic things that I needed for like the house and stuff. Um, and it's so nice outside. It's like 60 something degrees. Look at the baby back there. So funny. It's like 60 something degrees. He loves like looking back like in front of here. I don't know if he's supposed to be doing that, but he does. Um, it's like 60 something degrees and it's so nice outside so um i needed a few things for the house so i was just like let me go to target pick those things up because spring cleaning needs to start happening soon it is officially spring and it feels so good um it is airy season so i'm definitely feeling so so different I feel like the upcoming spring has definitely put me and um, is teaching me lessons to just, you know, take on for my 27th birthday. My 27th birthday is in a month. So there's definitely things that I feel like are changing unintentionally. Um, 
about myself, for my life. Um, I just feel different. Listen, I am very in tune with my emotions. Sometimes I'm too in tune with my emotions. And I let myself be sabotaged by my own thoughts. Um, so that's something that I'm definitely working on. I have not wanted to pick up the camera because I was just like in such a funk um, as of recently. And I just didn't want to pick up the camera and kind of like just put that kind of energy to anybody who's watching. I did not want to... Just know, you know, like just omit that that energy onto anybody who's watching. I just feel like that's just such a disservice for you to just come online and start talking about like, you know, how shitty your life is or whatever the case. Um, <laughs> and sometimes you have to just be in those funks to realize that you really are super, super, duper blessed. Um, and that's just where I'm at right now. Um, there are times where we're probably going to be feeling like, what is the point of even being on Earth? I've been there I've been feeling like on that level but I feel a little better today um, but yeah just lost in the routine you know what I'm saying like just lost in the routine of just like mom life you know being a stay-at-home mom it's just you need to pick your own self up when you're a stay-at-home mom um, I don't know it's a lot of responsibilities a lot that I'm you know battling with also not only am I turning 27 but also my son is turning a year old next month so those are two events that are definitely just like I don't know they have me like I don't know I don't know how to explain it but I just feel like I'm being squeezed <laughs> if I could explain it more perfectly I don't know how to explain it but yeah I just feel like I'm being squeezed and there's a lot of pressure on me for some reason I realize that events holidays things like that like I am not the type of person that like I like to deal with those type of things and like be under pressure I do not like working under pressure so those kinds of things are like debilitating to uh, my mental health <laughs> um and i've never been i've never i've never been diagnosed but i know for a fact that i somewhat struggle with depression and sometimes i can just really get in my funk um i don't know if anybody else has gotten gone through this but like i don't know if anybody else goes through this but like at times it's really hard for me to get out the house before like late later in the afternoon um like, I don't know why, but it's just so difficult for me to do that sometimes because I just feel like, because I just feel like I always need to like have my house clean, be able to just like myself have an outfit on, my baby has an outfit on, um, everything needs to be in order, meals prepped, all of this stuff. Sometimes it takes me forever to get out the house before a certain time, um, so like, I don't know. You guys know I struggle with this. If you guys watch my vlogs, it's nothing but me repeating myself, but it's just like, damn, at what point are you gonna continue to repeat yourself and just stop feeding into these old habits that you really do not like and you keep on complaining about, right? Um, whatever, I just said, let me go ahead and turn on the camera. Um, I haven't been in my creative zone as of lately. I realized all March long, I did not take any pictures of almost anything. Um, and I just haven't been in my creative like mood. And it's not the mood, but sometimes I just feel like when I have so much like mom responsibility, I'm just like, when do I have time to like make a TikTok or like make a cute little video? Like, do I really have time for that? Um, so also I was just like let me turn on the camera let me see if I could put in some footage together let's make something happen um, so yeah I turned on the camera and my day is definitely over because you guys know after 530 I'm done for the day and I don't really like to record after that because I don't know never really put this up there but whatever 
anyways you guys I will check you guys I'll try to go ahead and sign in tomorrow um hey guys so I'm filming on my phone right now because I'm actually on my way to go get my nails done. <sighs> yeah, I don't even know. Listen, a lot of the times when I'm not filming, it's because I just feel like I'm always working from my masculine energy. And honestly, that does me no good. Give me one second. The thing about vlogging is that sometimes you're just like, should I even vlog anymore? so nice outside but i came out because my nails are super outgrown and i need to get them done so came to get my nails done um and i was gonna film for you guys on the camera however i was rushing and i was just like working from my masculine energy today because i was rushing <laughs> um and I, like a dumbass, put my iced coffee inside my bag with everything in it. And my iced coffee spilled all over my camera and now it won't turn on. Um, you guys can see the iced coffee right there. So I think she's done for. <laughs> I think she's done for, which is crazy because last vlog I was saying that, yeah, she's like flashing a light. She's flashing a light. I mean... Miracles can happen. I'm gonna see what I can do with her once I get home, but I'm actually not gonna worry about it because if I have to get a new one, then I'm gonna have to just get a new one. Um, even though I don't want to, but what can we do? You know what I'm saying? Like, I have so much to say, but I actually wanna get going because um, I'm kinda late. It's about three, almost four o'clock. So I wanna see if I can get my toes and my nails done um, at least by 5.30 and I'm freaking late. So I'm actually gonna get out of here um, and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. So I just finished getting my nails done, honestly. <sighs> that was the worst experience i can never come back to the nail salon with like who who am i thinking that i can come to the nail salon with this one when i tell y'all i became one of those moms at the nail salon today where i had an uncontrollable child first off rule number one you should probably never take your kids to the nail shop or a beauty shop period I don't have a babysitter so I brought him along however I think I'm gonna have to start scheduling doing my nails for when his dad is off and I can come in the morning because I can never experience that again he literally tried to get out the stroller two or three times he took off his socks took off his shoes literally would not stay still not for a second not for a second drank his milk was still just like uncontrollable um i had to pick him up at least three times during my nail process and because of that i'm checking my nails now and they're cute i got the same color on my toes um but they're not perfect like there's like an you can see like the fill in like you can see the fill in and i usually don't like that um kind of looks like off kind of dirty so that paying attention to him the whole time and i could tell that the people at the nail salon just wanted me to leave they were being so nice and so patient but they wanted me to leave because he could just not stop moving so it was a whole like bad experience um i know that kind of looks dirty back there whatever um so it was just not a good experience um so I'll never do that again. Um, I was telling you guys earlier that I ruined my camera. Now my camera won't won't turn on. I spilled my iced coffee on it because 
I just feel like as a mom now, like I am just constantly rushing to do everything that I need to do. Like if I could just run down what my schedule looked like for today. So I obviously woke up around eight in the morning, um, took his dad to work, came back, made breakfast, put him down for a nap, um, picked up the house. Um, and by the time that I picked up the house, it was maybe like, um, it was like 1.30 and then I was just like, let me take a shower. I took a shower in the morning, but I took a second shower because I just like to come out the house feeling fresh. That way I don't have just like dense energy, like just carrying around dense energy. So I was like, I need to put myself in a good headspace. So let me take a shower. I took a quick shower. Um, and then I headed out. It was like free something got here, whatever. It's 5.30 now. Um, and on my way to go pick up his dad. So as you guys can see, I, ha I have really had no breaks. Not only that, but like I was picking up the house and I cleaned up the pantry because it desperately needed it. I also picked up the fridge because I desperately needed that. Um, so that was like my morning. Um, it's 5.30 now and I'm on my way to go get him. So, you know, like I, I'm always working on a type of energy where I'm always rushing. And when you're working in that sort of energy, women, we can tend to put ourselves in a masculine energy because that's just not how we should, how we should be operating. We should be operating in flow, in ease, um, and as a mom, sometimes that's just not a luxury that we have. So, um, obviously I'm trying to come down, trying to get ready, trying to put everything inside my bag. And then I realized that my bag was spilled. Um, it had applesauce all over it because I had an applesauce in there and it spilled in my bag. So I was like, let me put it in the wash. Um, I put it in the wash. I tried to wait a little bit to leave the house. Um, by the time that my bag was washed, um, I have a long chance, so it's like easily washed. That's why I like it. Um, anyways, I put it to dry and I was just like, you know what? It's not gonna, um, I'm not gonna be able to dry my purse before I leave or else I'm just gonna be late and I'm not gonna be able to get my nails done. So I just left it and I was just like, let me pick up a Target bag, put the things that I need in it. Also, let me, you know, carry my almost toddler who's 20 something pounds cannot walk yet so I have a target bag in one hand I have my purse in another I have a toddler on my second hand and I'm trying to get out the house have my keys in hand um, and then I wanted some iced coffee because I think I have that luxury um, I wanted some iced coffee and I make my iced coffee before I leave and I put the damn iced coffee inside the target bag where I have my camera my camera battery um, his bottle, like just a whole bunch of things that I would have put in my bigger bag if I was carrying it. However, I had to carry this one, which is pretty small. It only fits like my wallet, my phone, small things. Um, I put my iced coffee in there because I don't have any more hands and my iced coffee spills all over my camera. And now I think I don't have a camera. So that's just where we are at today which is so annoying because it's like damn I want to be a I, I, I just want to be able to just be at ease you know what I'm saying like and like when you are a mom who has no help um, when you're a mom who has no help like you know, well I'm not gonna say no help because that's not true but like during the day like you know there are people who have like stay at home nannies and stuff like that that's such a great luxury that I wish I had but I don't so during the day I'm pretty much doing everything when it comes to housework on my own so I'm yeah I'm usually stressed out anyways that's been it I think I'm gonna get off this I have to look at my map so I'll talk to you guys later
fishes. Hello, Saint. Go, you have to go. You have to learn to let go. Be careful, baby. Scared. Don't be scared, boy. Just jump. Okay, details. Details. 